Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a featured seller video for you guys. And I've had a really rough day. And I'm just going to put on a smile and I'm going to go with it. But I did not do my hair. So you guys are getting a hat. All right. Um, the Nurse Flipper, YouTube channel, The Nurse Flipper. So this gal has some bolos and she's going to share them with us. And She's got some good stuff up her sleeve. So I think you guys are going to like this one. Um, I'm going to show you her YouTube channel real quick. Just a glimpse. But if you want to subscribe, which I think it's great to subscribe and help others, down in the description, there'll be a link. And I will also have a link to her eBay store. But I'll show you some of that also. All right. Let's get started. I'll pull up my screen share here. And this is her channel, The Nurse Flipper. It is a, U a YouTube channel. Of course, it's a YouTube channel. It is a reseller channel. So you can see here over $500 profit on one item. Where did I put that? Oh, my gosh. That was totally me today. I could not find a hat. Oh, my gosh. It was so frustrating. And I never found it. But anyway... So over a thousand weekend sales, thousand dollars in weekend sales. So yeah, yeah. Only been looks like she's only been at it about three months and she's already got 576 subscribers. That is fantastic. All right, we are gonna get started with some of her bolos, and you guys are definitely gonna want to subscribe to her when you see that she is a bolo finder. All right, let me go back here, make sure we have everything up and going, and we do. So the first bolo is, okay, so I want to tell you a little story about this Tom Rubble. I think that's how you say it. It's Tom and then it's R-U-B-E-L. So I was at the thrift store and I picked up this little, um, mine wasn't a horse. I can't remember what it is. It's in one of my videos. And I looked it up and there were like some that went for like $500. It was something crazy. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I found like a bolo, you know, and I bought it because it was only a dollar. Mine was like something, I think it had, I cannot remember what it was. Oh my goodness, that's horrible. But, um, and I can't remember what it sold for, but it was a bolo, but it wasn't like a crazy bolo. I want to say it went maybe between 20 and $40. I know I'm like way off base, but I don't want to misspeak. So anyhow, Tom Rubble, if you see it, it's definitely a bread and butter item. So grab it if it's cheap. But some of these and this brand can go for a lot of money. So definitely be on the lookout for that. It's usually, the, mine was like carved into the leg. This looks like it's on the bottom. So I don't know if that makes any difference. But she said she was at a local estate sale. She was there on the last day. They had priced all of these um, Tom Rubble, whatever, uh, figurines priced individually high. She said they were high. So she asked how much for all and told them she had $80 left in her pocket and they took it. So for 14 of them, she had about $6 each in them. She sold the horse for $26.99 plus shipping. And then she also sold this little guy for um, St. Bernard Pup for $21.24. And you can see here and again, mine was really different. It wasn't like stamped on. Mine was like carved. So I don't know if there's a difference in value. I think mine went for a little more. But definitely um, look it up if you see that brand. And if it's cheap, I would say get it because it's at least going to be a bread and butter item. So between these two items, she's already made like 50 some dollars, right? What was the other one? 26. Okay, 40, about 40 bucks after everything's taken out. So she's made half her money back on two and she got 14 of them. So that's really good. Oh, and here's another one that she sold for $17.59. So she's at like 50 some for three of them. Here's the bottom. And this is what it looks like. And they're super, super cute. Mine was Christmas themed also. All right, so this Gretchen's Glazes, she said these were purchased in a big lot at an online estate auction. She drove two hours each way to pick them up along with other items. She bought five boxes for $111 total. So she was already in the profit when this sold. But if divided, these cost under $20 and sold it for $450. So... 
there was a little problem during shipment and the post office beat the package up. So she's in the middle of trying to figure all of that out, but the packages were insured. So that is good, but it was a mess. She sent me a picture today and I felt so bad, but I think, um, I think she'll be okay, you know, with what she paid for it. And if insurance covers it, because I, I don't know, it's just an unfortunate thing when your packages get damaged during shipment. It's just a bummer. So um, I will know more about this at a later date. Right now, she's still waiting on the packages to come back. I think she got one or two of them, but she had to ship like four different boxes. So anyway, kind of a bummer. But definitely be on the lookout for this glaze. And uh, it's definitely, I mean, $450 she got for this. But there were 200 of them, so... I don't know, but that's still great. She got a great deal on it. But yeah, just search comps for glazes and arts and crafts items. If you guys haven't seen my arts and crafts bolo um, category video, definitely go check that one out. It's a good one. Which leads me to this paintbrush. Again, go check out my arts and crafts category bolo video. Um, this is one brush, you guys, that sold for $70. So it's the best brush ever made. This was bought at an online art estate auction. This is the same one I think she got the glaze at because she drove two hours away to get it. She got a big lot of brushes for $20. These two were in there and cost into it each is about 50 cents. Sold for $70.39 each. I just want to know what is so great about this brush. I mean, something. I mean, it's a pre-owned, I mean, look at it. It's like a broom. Uh, um, anyway, yeah, two of them for $70.39. Very cool. The next item are these Susan Shewee, S-C-H-E-E-W-E, and they're decorating, decorative painting instruction pattern craft books. And it looks like she's got four or more available. So seven available, sold one. I, I'm not sure. I guess each lot is the same. But let's see what she says. Um, bought at same art estate auction. Got over 400 books for $30. So cost into these is approximately a dollar. She sold it for $26.99. And she still has seven left. So definitely going to make some money on that. This Coca-Cola bad guy, it's a Fire King mug, and she got this at, doesn't say, oh, a box lot with other items for $13, so cost about a buck. Sold for $190 in less than an hour to China with global shipping program. How cool is that? The next item is... This vintage wool Christmas blanket. It's kind of like a throw. It's made in Italy. She got this at the Goodwill for $6.99. And it sold for $61.59 plus shipping. Here is the tag made in Italy for Gimbels. G-I-M-B-E-L-S. It's a 50 by 60. The next item is this Robert Reiki's. Um, it's a wood bear. It says wooden tag. Oh, okay. Here we go. So it's got this tag connected to it. Look at those um, beads. How fun is that little guy? He's cute. Um, I know that I had mentioned Boyd's Bears, and she said that she does well with this brand of bears also. So it's good to know. I've never even seen this brand. I don't know if there's... Looks like there's a tag right here also on the back. So I don't see a picture of it, but definitely check them for the wood face. Bought at a garage sale on a big lot with Beanie Babies for $50 for over 100 bears and beanies. So 50 cents approximately and sold for $26.99. The red version sold for $99.99 months before. So there must be a red one. So yeah, pretty cool. Definitely look those up. So this Atari lot. She got this at an online and the buyer paid shipping. 
this Dale Earnhardt, um, it's a leather jacket. Looks like it's suede maybe. Does it say suede? Yeah. And it's a 2XL. She said she honestly, she paid too much as it had a $399.99 price tag on it. She paid $120 and sold it for $179.99, bought it online at Shop Goodwill. So what she's saying is, is she feels like she overpaid. But again, she saw this and, you know, a lot of times you feel like, gosh, if it's got a $400 tag on it, I can probably get 300, you know, but with clothing, it just really doesn't work like that. That tag doesn't mean too much. The next item is this twilight new moon. It's a fleece throw blanket. This came from the Goodwill, $3.99, sold it for $53.99 plus shipping. This AC compressor, uh, Four Seasons remanufactured new open box. So this came from an estate auction, paid $5 and it sold for $127.49. She said she just looked up the model number and knew that it was worth money. So and you can see right here, there's your model number. So pretty easy to look that one up. The next item is this Texas Instruments graphing calculator. Always look up calculators. Um, got a little damage there. She's showing that the battery compartment is free of corrosion or any other stuff like, you know, how it builds up. So that's a good idea to show that. Sometimes I forget to do that. This came from an estate box lot, paid 20 for the whole box. So maybe $5 sold for 45 in two hours. This Martha Stewart crafts paper punch. I have sold quite a few of the Martha Stewart paper punches. They typically are either a bread and butter item or a bolo. I usually do pretty well with them. She got this on Shop Goodwill and a lot paid approximately $4 and sold it for $22 and the buyer paid shipping. She said there is a seahorse one that can bring up to $100 just for a paper punch. So this is a rare Tinkerbell Fairies Disney television, and it's new in the box. How cute is that? Um, local in-person auction got two of these for $10 each. This one sold for $119. The other sold for $149.99. And it looks like the buyer paid shipping. And those are super, super cute. The next item is this. Uh, Guerlain, G-U-E-R-L-I-N, perfume, cologne, um, and it says lot sample. So I really, they're just little samples, you guys. How amazing is that? Samples. Samples. Yes, I said samples. And she bought this online at Shop Goodwill, paid $40 for a big lot, so maybe $5 in this, and sold it for $50.99 plus shipping. The next item, I don't know why that is up, is this Martha Stewart Collection Periwinkle. Uh, it's a comforter set, king size, bought it, B-Stock Macy's Palette. Paid $25, sold for $131.99 plus shipping. These fun Adidas, um, they're suede. They've got the, well, I was going to say four leaf, but it looks like they're three leaf clovers. Local in-person auction, paid $5 and sold for $42.49 plus shipping. So this adjustable wood, 72-inch wood artist painter's easel. Online art estate auction got seven for $35. This buyer messaged asking for a lot of three. So $15 cost sold for 105. So sold three of them for $105. And it looks like she paid $35 for seven of them. So really good, uh, good margins there. This little guy, I've sold these in the past. The big mouth Billy Bass Christmas singing fish. Always look up the singing fish that are on the plaques. I think I've sold like a lobster and what was something else I sold? I've sold different fish, but they're definitely either bread and butter or bolo. Depends what you, what kind of margins you want to get.
But this one was an estate fine for five bucks and sold it for $39.90 plus shipping. And to me, that is a bolo. The next item is this little Lisa Lamonith, L-A-M-O-N-T-H-E. It's a Native American. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Pueblo. I know I'm saying it wrong. Mm, that's embarrassing. Sometimes I'm not embarrassed like with like her last name, but I should know how to say that. Pueblo. Let me see if uh, Surrey understands me. Pueblo. Here's some information. Well, I must have said it right because it pulled it up. Yay me. <laughs> I'm excited. So uh, it's a blanket people pottery sculpture with that little piece of turquoise on it that's pretty cool i must say i really like that and i think i probably would have picked that one up but that is cool um found at a shop goodwill oh on shop goodwill paid 20 sold it for 124.99 i found this looking for a blanket it is called blanket people it looked interesting so i researched it i do this often often getting sidetracked and most times it pays off Nice tip. Thank you. And this is a Vera Bradley backpack. I have sold Vera Bradley backpacks. They do well. Um, she got this, a pallet of over 100 pounds of Vera Bradley items from Shop Goodwill. Wow. For $99. She drove two and a half hours each way, but got well over 100 pieces. So it cost about a dollar and she sold it for $39.16 plus shipping. Trying to see if it's like a little dirty, but you know, it's pre-owned. The next item is this sport dog field trainer dog remote came from the Habitat Restore Thrift Store. From the glass case, she paid $30 for it, and it sold for $114.99, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Sony Handycam camcorder, and she got this in a $1 box at a garage sale and sold it for $105.59. So definitely go check out her channel because she's a bolo finder. This Florida State University throw, it's a heavy, like, got the fringe on the ends blanket. Got it in a box lot off Shop Goodwill, maybe $2, and sold for $31.49 plus shipping. These cute little black bear honeybee hive canister cookie jar. It's a six-piece set, and they're really cute. She got these on Shop Goodwill, paid 20, but one was broke, so they refunded total amount. So it cost zero, and she sold the rest for $43.99. So cute. Cute, cute. All right, let's go into her store, see what else she's got. So Brad Mart Deals. And again, her YouTube channel is the Flippin'. Oh. Flippin' Nurse, right? Flippin' Nurse. She sent me her new logo today, her new branding. The Nurse Flipper. I knew I was saying it wrong. The Nurse Flipper. That's confusing. Um, but anyway, I don't want to give away what her new branding is, but I was thinking of that when I was... Anyway, you guys will see. It's really cool. I love it. Anyway, here's some more stuff that she has listed. In her store, I have a link down in the description if you guys would like to go in and check out what else she's got. She's got a lot of art stuff. Um, you can look at her actives and her solds. Yeah, so I'm seeing this right here, and I'm guessing she used the eBay's new uh, whiteout thing on the app because I'm getting the same problem. Like, it's not cutting out completely, like along the edges and I don't like that. So I haven't been using it because it just frustrates me. Um, I mean, I guess it is what it is, but.
one and this one and this. But you can like use your finger to kind of try to erase the shadowing, which is great, but sometimes it cuts into the picture and then you're, it looks like your picture's like messed up. So anyway, comment below. Let me, let me know what you guys think about the whole eBay. Um, I don't even know what that's called. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. So here's just going to finish going through this page and then I'll come back over and tell you guys to have a good day. Good night. Don't know when you'll be watching this. I've been posting my videos at 8 a.m. And I think I'm going to continue to do that for now and just see how it goes. That way it kind of gives everybody the whole day to kind of check in and see if I have anything new up. Um, and then I kind of sporadically post it on like Twitter and Instagram and Facebook at different times of the day just to kind of get it out there. But if you guys can share, that's awesome. That helps me out a lot. Um, coming from other people, uh, the shares, it really um, says more than when I just share myself, if you know what I mean. Um, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'm going to give you my wave. Have a good night.